This place is in shambles. So let's make a bigger mess. What's on the agenda, Matt? Well, as you guys might be able to see here, uh, we've got this sort of freezer box uh, structure, if you could call it that, uncovered. Um, you'll usually see it with that blue plate that's behind Dad there, sitting on top of it. And a big pile of junk. Yeah, and a big pile of uh, mostly 90% collect all, 10% wash up station for fiberglass supplies. Well, um, it did serve its purpose throughout this project. It was nice to have that space, but yeah. now it's time for it to go. Yeah, so basically, from what we can tell, it used to be just maybe a freezer box of some sort. Um, it was probably a pretty nice one. That this was cut out later, but it had a nice lid on it. And yeah, as the years yeah. have gone by, apparently it had been modified a little bit um, to start with a larger freezer and then gradually to a smaller freezer. <laughs> and so <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really just kind of seen like, better days too, as you can it's really see. just a nasty gross pit now so um this is deck space that is not very well utilized so our plan is just to tear this thing out uh we are going to keep a freezer on board because it's pretty nice having those um we'll retrofit this frame this. and just kind of get it scooted against the wall and strap it in in we'll some way down, or fashion cut it down to fit this freezer because right now the freezer only comes to like right here, so there's just a space. So we'll trim that down, reweld it, probably put a couple of legs off the front right here, keep that up off the deck so it's not getting a bunch of water uh, splashed up on the bottom of it. And um, yeah, that'll do it. Like Matt said, clear up some nice deck space. And uh, now is the time to do it while everything is still a uh, dusty mess in here. Yeah, while well, we still got our shelter on, just in case we mar up the back of the house here, or the deck, or whatever, be able to patch it in. Mm -hmm. No worries. We also started kind of cleaning this area up. This, uh, well, it's kind of like Swiss cheese right here. And so uh, it had a couple of flanges here, a couple of PVC flanges that they used as a wiring chase. Not very effective to try and stuff things through a tiny little hole, especially when they have plugs and things on them like this, tend to get hung up on all the other wires. So time to do something better here. Um, we'll probably just make a, a simple little hood that's slanted, shed water off of it, and then bring our wires in a, a loop and up. Um, same thing with our short power cord can go up in there. And so we'll cut this out so it's easy to get cords in and out of there and not have to struggle and fight that stuff. Um, this one will just get glassed over once we pull these wires out and reroute them. Doesn't need to be back in there, really. You can just see there's just a whole bunch of holes and stuff up there, it's ridiculous. I don't know what was going on there, honestly. <laughs> Anyone's guess. Anyone's guess, it's always- At one point there was a wire running through and they pulled it out or- And hard whatever. to figure out what the former owners had going on sometimes so yeah any rate um we'll get this out of here it'll be a little easier to work on this instead of trying to climb up on here and balance on this and yeah bolts i don't know what's going on image uh, three layers of quarter inch aluminum or three sixteenths aluminum <laughs> you know no, not on that one because the bolt was very or the nut was very long enough <laughs> put it in there but hold pressure on it coming.
In the pile. A lot of memories in here, Matt. Yeah. For somebody. The only memory I'll have of it is getting rid of it, happy to say. Woohoo! You're thirsty. Have some water. nails we we'll cut through our new cord <laughs> hit some better wood down there <laughs> yeah somehow i was gonna say it must have been pretty rotten towards the middle there ah, um. Oop, 50 pounds right there good we'll get rid of that port lift <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna. Yeah. What you think? Whew. I think we should have left the furnace off before we started this. <laughs> 
<laughs> 60 True. degrees in here and it feels like it's 90. Yeah. Yeah, that opened up a lot of space, so. Yeah, sure did. And just more rotten, soggy stuff to get off the boat. Always probably, a good thing. Probably 100 pounds of garbage right there. Whew. Well, that'll be nice to have cleared out there. Mm -hmm. So just, uh, looks like probably just big screws going through the deck. So just have a, some holes to patch up. The uh, tabbing in of the actual freezer box, we should just be able to ram our uh, pry bar under there and peel up most of it, hopefully. So yeah, if it's, Done like the rest of this deck was. It should be fine. Boy, they didn't, uh, didn't spare any expense on that fiberglass right there. Don't say that. It's like a quarter inch almost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they didn't want the box itself moving. Well, yes. No, I guess not. Tetris. Amazingly strong considering it's so rotten. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's the back of the house, huh? Yeah. They just took the gel coat off and glued it to it, I guess. Yeah. Well, that makes it a little easier. Something yeah. fun about stripping a piece of plywood off the wall. Clean it up and... Yeah. Go, go for it, huh? them over it. <laughs> right here we got, what do they call that stuff? Oh uh, yeah, some... just regular cloth, like, I don't know, like some six or seven ounce cloth. Yeah. Eight ounce cloth. Not much holding power of that stuff. Yeah, I might go for a clean up first. Yeah. Get the junk out of the way. Wow! Oh, 
That's brutal. All right, we got some of the excess tabbing peeled off. Wasn't really much there. Uh, on the inside, there's just like a huge pool of resin. They probably used about a <laughs> half a gallon of resin for a tiny layer of cloth on the inside, but kind of funny. Anyways, uh, this is uh, actually the back of the house. Um, I think there's just like a really thin layer of fiberglass uh, that's glassed onto the uh, plywood. As you can see, there's one little deep with the pry bar right there. So it's gonna grind that off and get it cleaned up and probably throw a layer of 45 and a layer of mat on there to uh, thicken it up a little bit. This line here we suspect was actually just reinforcing that water catch uh, gutter that was on the actual box. But yeah, it looks pretty good. It's ugly right now, but we're really happy with the space that opened up. You guys can see a big pile of rubble right here too. So some more stuff to haul off. Always a good feeling taking this stuff off the boat that's just like of rotten and questionable quality. <laughs> so so we're just gonna fire up the grinder probably just uh, get the rest of that stuff off. There's not much point in prettying it up too much. Uh, this deck isn't the prettiest anyways so we'll just get off the couple of high spots and uh and clean up that back wall so we'll bring you back once we're getting going on that 